In this tutorial, we will see how to work with Amazon Elastic Container Registry. So let's get started and create our first repository. Select select private if it's not selected, and give your repository a name. I'll name mine demo. Create the repository. Once it's created, view the push commands in here and open the AWS documentation. And the documentation says that we have to install Docker. I have this instance in here and it has the port open port 80, 22, and 3000. Let's connect to the instance. Connect. Once we're connected, it's always good to update the cache. My cache is updating now. The next command will be to install Docker. Okay. Now that the cache is updated, let's install Docker. Y for yes. The next command will be to start the Docker service. So let's copy the command. Now that the Docker is installed, let's start the service. Service is started. The next command will be to add the user to the Docker group so we can use uh, Docker without uh, sudo. Okay, we have to log out, log back in for the last command to work. Now if we do docker images we see that sorry I mistyped it. We see that we can run the docker command without sudo and we don't have any images in here yet. Now let's create a docker file. If we do ls we will see the file in here and let's copy these lines from here and use vim to edit the file you can use any editor let's save our file and let's clear do ls and cat to make sure that the content is in the file and it is there now let's build our image the image is being built it'll take a few seconds but once it's done we can use the docker images command to check for the image then we can run it using this command I'll copy this from here now let's do docker images we do have some images in here let's run the hello world image it's running now. You can check it if we copy the public IP for our server and paste it in the browser. We will get hello world. Now what we want to do is use AWS and to do that we have to first configure it. So let's do control C and control L then let's do AWS Con figure. I'll pause here and add my credentials. I've added my credentials. Now we will copy this command from here and we'll paste it in here. If it works it means yeah it says login succeeded so my credentials were correct. If you have anything other than login succeeded then try to configure your AWS again. And now let's build the image. then let's tag the image now that the image is tagged let's push it to our repository it's pushing the image to our own repository on AWS ECR this is it for this server so let's close it now and let's go to clusters and create a cluster select EC2 next 
let's give it a name I'll name mine docker test cluster scroll down in here let's do two instances and select the key pair specify the VPC select some subnets scroll down port 80 that's fine we want to access it using port 80 or let's do 22 in here and we can edit that later create now that our cluster is created let's view the cluster let's go to ECS instances in here we should get two instances we have one refresh until you see the second one okay we have two instances let's create a task for them so select EC2 next let's name our task I'll name mine docker test task and if we scroll down in here let's use 300 for the memory and 300 for the CPU and add a container in here we will use our own custom image I'll name it uh, docker docker image and for this one I will duplicate this page and then I will go to my ECR so elastic container registry in here we have our registry copy the URL and paste it in here let's give it 300 for the hard limit and the port will be 80 and let's add it scroll down and create now we have a task but it's not connected if we go to our cluster and we check the instances it has no running tasks so let's create a service to run the tasks create in here select EC2 it detected the docker task and let's give it a name I'll name it docker test service and we want two tasks to match the instances zero for the minimum healthy present scroll down next step we will use the load balancer from the previous tutorial it's there but we still have to edit it so let's go back in here and find the target groups and edit them select it actions register targets and we have these two instances that we just created with the cluster and let's include them then we can register pending targets now they're registered we can use the same load balancer so add a load balancer select this thing and from here select the target group keep everything as is next we will not use a load uh, I mean uh, auto scanning groups so leave that and create the service once the service is created view the service and go to, to the go to uh, tasks in here go to instances and make sure that each instance has a task running on it now all we have to do is edit the security groups so let's edit the security groups we have uh, this security group let's refresh it's not here this is the one for our cluster let's edit the inbound rules and add port 80 I mean let's add all TCP from the load balancer where is the load balancer group security group this is it save the roles and now we can use our load balancer so copy the DNS from here and paste it in the browser and you should have the page if you have something running on uh, the same port make sure to use a different port this is it for this tutorial see you in the next one